Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Did you know that Washington once went 11 straight years without a first round pick? Yeah, I know, right? From 1969 to 1979, Washington traded its first round pick every single year. And guess what? It kind of worked out for them. So let's break it down, shall we? In 1969, Washington traded to the Rams in a deal for the rights to quarterback Gary Babon. In 1970, Washington traded to the 49ers for offensive lineman Walt Rock. Now that's an awesome name. What a great name for a lineman. In 1971, Washington Washington decided to go big. EA Sports. Again, trading to the Rams in a mega deal that involved a whopping six picks and seven players. This trade sent linebacker Marlon McKeever and a plethora of picks from Washington to Los Angeles in exchange for veteran linebackers Jack Pardee, Maxi Bahan, and Myron Patios, as well as defensive tackle Dyron Talbert, guard John Wilbur, and running back Jeff Jordan, and a fifth round pick for good measure. <laughs> what a blockbuster trade. But that ain't it, folks. There's more. They traded their 1972 first rounder, the Jets, in a deal for defensive end Verlon Biggs, which again, great name for alignment. <laughs> they then sent away their 1973 first rounder to the Colts for wide receiver Roy Jefferson. In 1974, Washington found a familiar face to trade to, the Rams, which it's worth noting that George Allen, the head coach for Washington at the time, was a former Rams head coach, so <laughs> I guess connections really do help in the business. But anyway, they traded for safety Richie Pettibon, which if you're unaware of the story surrounding this pick and some of the others, stay tuned for another video coming soon, because it is absolutely wild. You're not going to want to miss that one, I promise. In 1975, they dealt with the Chargers in a deal which got them running back Dwayne Thomas. In 1976, Washington changed the course of their entire franchise by trading with the Dolphins, in which they received the rights to then-Toronto Argonauts quarterback Joe Theismann, who then left the CFL to join Washington, where, interestingly enough, he served as the team's punt returner for his first season there. And it wasn't until 1978 where he became the starting quarterback, succeeding Billy Kill. Washington then packaged up the 1977 and 1978 picks and sent them to the Cardinals for defensive tackle Dave Butts, which despite the name was anything, well, <laughs> but as that was a fantastic deal being that he ended up being an All-Pro and on the 1980s All-Decade team, also securing a Pro Bowl and he started for them in the Super Bowl too. And a quick weird side story about this, he originally was just going to sign with them as they thought he was free to, but due to a mistake in his rookie contract, he was actually still a Cardinal, so after the two teams couldn't get compensation agreed upon, the league officially ruled that the deal was to go through with those picks determined fair. And finally, in 1979, Washington traded with the Bengals for Lamar Parrish and Shy Sausage. Wait, wait, I mean Koi Bacon. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. So anyway, to wrap it up, in total, the team used 11 first-rounders to acquire five players who would go on to make the Pro Bowl with Washington, as well as two players who started for them in their Super Bowl 17 victory, Joe Theismann and Dave Butts. And when Washington finally did start using their first rounders, they drafted future Hall of Famers Art Monk in 1980 and Daryl Green in 1983. But wait a minute, Washington then traded all of its first round picks again from 1984 to 1990. But that's for another video. Again, hope you're liking these videos. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Keep it strange, everybody. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.